it's your bays. It's your girl, Brit Brat, going live with the Breed Talk and Bay Squad. We got to talk about DJ Academics, Saucy Santana, and of course, Little Kim. But before we get started, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my fave, the vegan water, and let's get into the mess, shall we? <laughs> What do I got for y'all next? Candy's coming down. Ooh. How about this? Ooh, Bay Squad, so Little Kim was having a wardrobe malfunction at One Music Festival, and baby, she threw that thong out into the crowd, and the crowd got hyped. Baby, if I was there, I would be selling them panties on eBay. I'd be like, fresh off the puss with the video attached. But let's get into this Mellow Bucks versus Armari. Oh my God. Baby, see what happens when you ride a diss track, girl, you get beat up. Armari didn't even flinch the beat, okay? Like, we don't promote violence. Y'all can go see the video on <laughs> Twitter or somewhere else because you know youtube is monetized we can't do that at the end of the day she did a diss track and she did not duck dive or swing baby she was getting beat molly wop not between the washer and dryer but let's get into saucy santana check it dj academics it's looking like he might be getting knocked between the washer and dryer itself academics you keep talking about what the fuck carisha said to you what the fuck how carisha felt about you that's how she felt about you me being her best friend that don't have nothing to fucking do with me in the hood and in and, and, and a lot of urban cultures when you see boys Boys that are acting feminine, that are being messy, that are being extra and doing fag shit, that's what you address them as. Even as me being a gay man, I don't move like a fag. And it's a lot of other gay boys that's feminine or whatever, but everybody don't move like fags. You move like a fag, and that's why bitches is always calling you that. It don't have nothing to do with nobody else. You always on the internet starting shit with bitches. I wake up this morning, you starting shit with Glorilla, a girl. What the fuck is you bothering her for? What the fuck is you doing interviews? Keep talking about young Miami for you think nobody won't press you up. And that's the motherfucking problem. We was hoping to see you at the Roots picnic but apparently it was the it was the wrong day you nobody don't ever know where you at but we all have public flyers and posters on our motherfucking page so tuesday y'all miami has a party in, in, in miami she having a halloween party pull up on us pull up and come and, and come holler and it's nothing for her to say to you it's nothing for you talking about oh i was about to beef with santana but i had to i had to ball i had to bow down because i was gonna lose so you mean to tell me you could publicly bully a bitch on the internet every motherfucking day but you don't want to get in you don't want to get into a spat or a combat or a physical altercation with a motherfucking gay boy but you like to argue with bitches though stop playing with people the bitches don't play on the internet so carisha got a party on tuesday in miami and pull up and you don't have to say nothing to her come and address me come and address the niggas that's gonna be in the motherfucking room stop playing games on the internet and then you wonder why bitches calling you botty boys and bags and punks because you're drama field and you only fuck with bitches you only arguing with bitches all motherfucking day i'm a nigga i don't even do that i'm a gay boy and i don't even fuck with bitches all day bitch i really like to slap the shit out of out of niggas, bitch. Since I was a kid, that's what the fuck I do. Since high school, I fought boys. I never fought bitches a day in my motherfucking life. I, I don't even argue with bitches as much as you. And you're supposed to be the straight one. So stop doing all the cap. Pull up. We got posters. Pull up on Tuesday in Miami and settle that. About the city girls. I'll briefly talk about the city girls. And I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I think the city girls are completely over with. And they did the most pathetic interview I just seen recently. And we we need to hold some of these some of these um makeshift makeshift um chameleon non talented lazy non passionate people accountable. You see, the city girls are the definition of people who have gotten to places in their career without ever really doing the work. Let me be very, very clear about them. The City Girls are a byproduct of good writers, good people that put image around them, people that branded them the City Girls. There's nothing the City Girls has actually ever really did for their fucking self. I am the queen of opinions are not facts. He's entitled to his opinion, but it's not what you say. It's how you say it. And he's always saying something degrading, lowbrow, very disgusting, just 
I'm the superior when it comes to not only black women, but black men too. He's very anti-black, but y'all support him. So it is what it is. At the end of the day, these women are entitled to feel how they want to feel. Their friends are entitled to fight for them because who is DJ Academics? He can't even leave his basement of his mammy's house because he knows if he steps outside, he's going to get that Wendy Williams treatment, but it's going to be 2.0. That's just how I feel about it. But what are your thoughts on this, Bay Squad? What are your opinions? Comment down below. I got to go. Bye, hoes.